Hi, my name is Isabella Strickland, and today I will be reading you Smelly Socks by Robert Munch. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there's no bridge here, said Tina's mom. You know, it's a long, long, long way to the only bridge, and besides, we don't have a car. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, Can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working on my boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina. We can row. I will row. You can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. I don't think so. So Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in slow circles. Swish, swish, swish. Tina rowed fast. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in fast circles. Swish, 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 swish. The boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina went in the back of the boat and told her grandfather how to row. And her grandfather rowed all the way across the river, then walked all the way through town to the big sock store. Is there a store just for socks? That would be so interesting. At the store, Tina went, Tina tried on socks that were too big, that were too little, socks that were too blue, socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found the perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat, and this time the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round, and still got to the other side. Oh wow, it's a lot of socks. When Tina got back, Tina ran home and yelled, Socks! Socks! Wonderful socks! These are the best socks I have ever seen in my life! Grandpa rode me all the way across the river to get these socks. I'm never going to take them off. Never? Tina's mom? Ma Tina's mom. Can I speak today? No, I can't. Said Tina's mom. Never! Said Tina. Oh no. Said Tina's mom. I feel like that could go very wrong very fast. It did. Hi, cat. Ooh, my cat is here. Ooh, uh, he can go if he pleases. So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them really quickly. They will start to smell if you don't wash them. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, Tina said. I will never, never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore the socks for 10 more days, oh no. <laughs> the kids at school said, Tina, what is that smell? Change your socks. Socks, socks, wonderful socks. I will never, 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 never going to take them off. Wow. Change your socks. That is the lesson. Tina wore the socks for 10 more days. A whole flock of Canadian geese flew over her house and dropped right, oh, <laughs> right, right out of the sky from the smell. Wow. How does she not smell that? Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Oh, she's killing the ecosystem with her feet. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the spell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house knocking on her door. Blam, 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 blam. 
When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. Then they held their noses and took her sock off. Wow. What brave people. <laughs> some of the kids held Tina and some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All of the fish in the river floated up to the top and acted like they were dead. I think they might have been. Hopefully not. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran over from the river, went to live in Tina's grandfather's house. They washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Oh, he's going to have to share that with all of them. I don't think that's going to be enough mac and cheese. Ah, there we go. Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look even nicer when they're clean. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, said Tina. They smell even nicer when they're clean. Oh, so she could smell them. That's good. Wow, said Tina. They even feel nicer when they're clean. Tina put on the socks. I'm going to wear clean socks from now on. Oh, look, the birds are alive now. Everyone's happy. That's good. I don't think this could get any worse. Beavers left grandfather's house and went back to the river. The Canadian geese got off of the ground and flew. The fish decided they were not dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Okay, good. No one died. Okay, that's good. Oh, ooh. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean and I think it would be very nice you took me downtown to get a nice red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids from school will wash them for me. You might as well get your mom to wash them. Oh, yes, and that is, that is what happened. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that is the end of Smelly Socks. The lesson kids here Please change your socks or else the kids from school will wash them for you in the river and all the Canadian geese will decide they're not dead. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Gotham Reads for more of your favorite children's books read aloud daily.